This video will cover the time of arrival graphic and how it can be used in order to plan ahead of the storm. My name is Robert Boyeda and I'm the Warning Coordination Meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Miami. One of the main messaging challenges is that oftentimes too much focus is placed on the exact forecast track and the timing of when the, the center of the storm will make landfall. For example, take this scenario here where you are at the Red Star. So this was for Hurricane Michael back in uh, 2018. So you, if you assign an exact landfall time based on this graphic, you, you would say something like, for example, forecasters say that Michael is expected to begin making a turn toward the northeast sometime on Wednesday. Well, that turn would bring Michael into Florida somewhere near Panama City Beach around 2 p.m. Now, that could very well be the time in which the center of the storm makes landfall. However, it does not address other important things, such as when will it, the first effects of the storm be felt. In other words, when will those tropical storm force winds begin to impact the area, taking into account the size of the storm, not just the center location. So for those, for that event, we have the, the time of arrival graphics, which can help you determine when those conditions will become dangerous, not just focus on that exact center location. So the uh, National Hurricane Center arrival time graphics, those address the time in which preparations uh, will become dangerous, or in other words, what's the time in which we think the tropical storm force winds could arrive at a location. Now, when we look at these time of arrival graphics, there are two different versions. We have one that's the earliest reasonable arrival time, and then we have another one, which is the most likely arrival time. Let's talk a little bit more about what those mean and how they can be used for in your preparation. The earliest reasonable arrival time, uh, if we look at this example here, uh, this example shows that a hurricane, that the center of the hurricane is forecast to make landfall somewhere along the southeast Florida coast at 8 a.m. on Sunday. Now, remember, this only talks about or is only addressing the center of the storm when it, when it could make landfall. It's not taking into account the weather ahead of the storm and when that could start impacting the area. So let's take a look at that same forecast, but now show the earliest reasonable arrival time. So based on this, the earliest reasonable arrival time is Saturday, 8 a.m. So we're talking about a 24-hour difference. So what this earliest reasonable arrival time is showing, that's the time that someone in that individual location can safely assume that they will be free from tropical storm force winds. In other words, if you plan for all your preparations to be done by, let's say, 8 a.m. Sunday, or I'm sorry, by 8 a.m. Saturday, then you can safely assume that those preparations will be complete before those dangerous tropical storm force winds, those first outer bands, in other words, begin impacting your area. So in other words, we're not just relying on the exact time of the center of the storm, but the impacts that can occur well ahead of the storm. So that's the key here is using it in order so that you are prepared well in advance of those dangerous conditions beginning to impact the area. Now, the other version of this is called the most likely arrival time. So again, based on that same forecast, uh, this shows that the most likely arrival time of tropical storm force winds is 8 p.m. Saturday. So about 12 hours difference. The earliest reasonable was 8 a.m. The most likely arrival time was 8 p.m. So this, what, what this is showing is this is the uh, time before or after, on average, before or after which the onset of those sustained tropical storm force winds is equally likely. So in other words, another way we can say this is uh, there's a 50% chance of tropical storm force winds in South Florida arriving prior to or after 8 p.m. Saturday. So which time do you use? Uh, the earliest reasonable time is recommended for general, individual, and community preparedness activities. So in other words, uh, things like evacuation orders that local officials will enact or will put in place are 
usually based on those earliest reasonable arrival times. In other words, activities that are time consuming. Let's say, for example, if you have to put up storm panels, those take sometimes several hours. You need a lot of time to prepare for that or to do that. So the earliest reasonable arrival time gives you that time, that window that you need in order to safely be able to finish your preparations before those tropical storm force winds arrive. What about the most likely arrival time? Well, those are good for lower risk activities, which can be completed in a short amount of time. Let's say, for example, you need to bring in a few light outdoor furniture, uh, some chairs, for example, that you can do that really quickly. Uh, maybe you have accordion shutters, for example, and you could, those take very short time to close. Maybe in, in some situations, you could consider waiting until that most likely arrival time. In other words, activities that take a short amount of time that don't involve a lot of risk or that, or that can be, again, the key here is that they can be done quickly uh, before those conditions begin to deteriorate and become dangerous. So to summarize, uh, we know that uh, sometimes too much focus is placed on that exact landfall time, which can lead to someone being unprepared for those initial storm impacts that can precede the center of the storm by sometimes as much as a day or two. So for that, the time of arrival graphics help to inform the public as to that time when preparations can be safely completed by. So the, these, these uh, graphics are available with each forecast advisory, and they're also used in combination with wind speed probabilities. So we get a sense of what, what are the chances or the, pro the probability of, a, of tropical storm force winds occurring, along with what's the earliest reasonable time that those winds would arrive as well as what is the most likely time, that 50-50 time, in other words. And this information can be found at weather.gov forward slash Miami via the tropical weather link whenever we are under a threat from a hurricane. Thank you very much for listening.